Once upon a time, there was a little girl with big dreams and loving parents who wanted what was best for her. These parents also had loving parents, the loving grandparents of said girl. In this loving family, food was a tool, something to be researched, studied, tested, and evaluated. Food was believed to heal. Food was also believed to cause weight. Nowadays, there's a word for it, orthorexia. This girl now understands that it's something she inherited and learned, both formally and informally. She has since discovered how damaging those feelings of not enough have been to her body and spirit. And she's realized that it was her love of food and her fascination with the human body that ultimately saved her from losing herself completely. In case you haven't figured out or didn't already know, that girl is me. And I've found myself, my true self, and every day I discover new ways to honor my body. Food is not the enemy. It's my best friend that helps me dig a little deeper. It reflects my emotions, both negative and positive, back to me for further processing. Because when I allow food to facilitate the healing process, it becomes a powerful tool to reconnect with myself and this world that I was born into. Now, today is your chance at rebirth. I want you to pull out that list of baby names and head to the fridge or pantry to pick out your bundle of joy. Pretend you're back in home economics, but instead of toting a baby doll, you'll be carrying around a food item with you all day today. It can be anything from a bag of sugar to an apple. I want you to carefully draw a face on it, add hair, accessories, whatever endears you to your food baby. Interact with it often, calling it by name, lovingly cooing at it. Take care of it just as you would a newborn infant. When the day is over, sing it a lullaby and give it a kiss before returning it to its resting place. 